hello guys welcome to our channel and our today's topic is very easy uh, in this topic we will just make uh, attendance register and here you can see the example in this example I just uh, made the serial numbers uh, the name of the students and here you can see the criteria and in the criteria I use data validation function so we will learn about how can we use the data, data validation function and with the help of the data validation function we also generate the status or in this status like suppose if the student is uh, present so you just mark here and if the student is absent so you have to just uh, unmark the option here you can see the uh, changes and here you can see the uh, status in the status uh, you can see the total number of students and you can match it with the serial number and here the students uh, which are present uh, so you can see here I just mark here for students or suppose if the uh, student mark is uh, present so you have to just click on it and it will generate true and the number of total uh, present students increases if I just tick all these students so here you can see the total number of students present and here no one is absent so our presence uh, percentage is 100% and if I just uh, unmark any one here you can see the uh, number of students present is 6 and our attendance is 81% so how can I just make this type of simple example so we will just make it from scratch so you will get the better understanding of it so we'll just uh, start here so you have to just first scroll it uh, and zoom in so you, you can get a better understanding and here first you have to just write here uh, the serial number now I just write the name of the students and here I just use the criteria and the last one is status now I just use the serial number one two three four five six and the last one is seven and for the students I just choose some random names like Mark Harry Christopher James John Steve and the last one is Peter and for the criteria as I uh, told you that we will just use the data validation function so where is the data validation function you can see the data validation function in the tabs and in this tab you have to go here in the developer option so you have to select the developer option and in the developer option you can see the insert function you have to go here and here you can see the internal function you have to just go here and select the box first you have to just uh, place it on the right place now you have to just uh, erase the criteria function so it will be deleted now you have to just place it uh, so that it will be more presentable now you have to just scroll it down and all the boxes will be appearing in all the boxes now how can we uh, connect the cell with this type of uh, data validation function you have to just right here uh, right click and here you can see the format controller you have to go here and another box will appear so here you can see the cell link so you have to just click on it and in this uh, cell link you have to just click on the cell here you can see the changes and you have to just click on ok now you have to do the uh, same thing for every cell so I just make it faster for you so you will get the uh, better understanding of all the cells now I just uh, click on it and now I just go here for this now I just go here for second last one and in the last I just go here for the last cell so I just uh, want to test it so you can see the uh, changes now you have to just write here the uh, first you have to use the mail merge function here and you can see the mail merge function here you have to again select the mail merge function for these three now in this you have to just write the total you have to write the present and the last one is absent first you have to select all the boxes and you have to select the all border functions and thick border fun functions to make it more presentable and attractive and you have to just go here in uh, central alignment 
and select all the boxes and again you have to go in thick border box for these and again thick border box now I just uh, select all the boxes and make it bold and the same way I just make it these uh, boxes bold and use some color to make it more presentable and attractive so here you can see the uh, color and again I use the color for these boxes and use here the merge function and in the merge function I just use again the color boxes and you you can see the changes and here I just write here attendance register and to make it uh, more attractive I just use some more space and make it broader through uh, this function tick and select the color for it and make it thick border box now we will use uh, some uh, functions so that we will get the register attendance status so how can you use the function you have to just first uh, write the total so how can you use the total function you have to just uh, use here the count a function basically the count a function will count all the number of uh, students write in words so here you can see the seven it means the total number of present students are seven and how can we calculate the absent students or present students uh, for the present students we just use the true option and the student if the student is absent so we use, you use the false status so how can i calculate the true students we will just use the uh, count if function and in the count in function first it says range so we just give it the range now comma now it says the criteria so we just want to uh, calculate the number of true students and we just want to represent the uh, true for present students so if I just increase it so you can see the uh, number of students are increasing and for absent you have to just use here a uh, simple function uh, which is total number of students to so subtract the present students you will get the total number of absent students and for the percentage you have to just use the 100% uh, for it and now for present you have to go here and select the uh, present students divide by uh, total number of students you will get the understanding and you will get the answer now I just use the percentage for percentage is go here in percentage and click on it and for absence you have to use the same function like total minus uh, the present students you will get the total changes and make it uh, bold for attra attractiveness and here you can see our whole attendance register is completed and if I if I just take care uh, James uh, uh, unperson or absent you'll uh, get the present number of students and the attendance and if I just select the uh, all the students you will get the total number of students present uh, is 100 and and the absent number of students is 0 percent and if you just click here so you can change the difference this is how uh, we just made our register and if you uh, there's any confusion in it you can write in our comment section and if you like our video please share and subscribe thank you so much